Hey guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video. Today I'm very happy because I have one of the older uh, Sarah's doll and this one is not even, well she's just two years older than the new Miu that are coming out because she's from 2015 but she is uh, very special because she is a coordinate doll and Azon hasn't made a lot of Sarah's coordinates. They I, as far as I know, they only have two. So let's get started. Let me open the box and show her to you. So let's do a little bit of Sarah's history. Um, Azon started to have Happy New Year's doll uh, in 2015. And as you know, the Happy New Year doll come with uh, the Yukata style, like kimono kind of thing. And basically, what they did was that they had in 2052 doll coming out as New Year doll and they were wearing this, this type of kimono. But then, uh, because they probably got really popular and so they decided to get uh, two more out. So she was probably supposed to come with... I don't know. I don't know what the coordinate doll come with. They don't have their own books, but here we have only the books that how to take care of your doll from 2014. So you already saw that in previous video, I'm not gonna show that to you. So here we have the background. The background is a polka dot and it's a 2015 year coordinate doll. So it's a special box made for this particular Sarah. And as you can see, it's just polka dot all over the place. So this coordinate doll uh, is like a remake, sort of, of the, um, uh, Sarah's Happy New Year from 2015. And basically they made two coordinate dolls. So let me get her stuff here. And those two coordinate dolls, so they have the Murasaki Sakura, which is like a purple version of the kimono is the purple version. And then they have this one, which is uh, just a Sakura, basic Sakura. So she has like um, the white kimono version with a Sakura on it. So after that, uh, Azuna has come, like in 2016 and 2017, they came out with uh, Happy New Year dolls, also wearing the kimono yukata thingy. But this one is just the only coordinates, they never actually remade any of the Happy New Year doll after that as coordinates. So this one is very special. So let me take out... Uh, I already took out, so uh, she got a bag, so I, all of them, they always come with this type of bag which is like kind of traditional, what you would have to carry your purse like if you go to the sakura for example, to see the flower, we're wearing your yukata or kimono and she comes with those uh, shoes which are basically these uh, special Japanese socks uh, Iki actually told me as a name of it, of it uh, a few days like a few days ago when we went to take the picture because when I we take the picture a uh, wedding picture I was actually wearing this type of socks and they have a special name and then they have like this special Japanese shoes we also have a special name but I forgot so here is Sarah Kimono she's called Sarah Kimono oops her head so I'm going to zoom on her and show her to you from close up So this Sarah Kimono coordinate is actually the remake of the 2015 uh, Happy New Year doll. So Happy New Year doll always come with those type of clothing and there is always two versions. There is a version with a basic classical a Japanese hair style. So when they made the coordinate they actually retake the one with a classic hairstyle and they actually make both coordinate with that same hairstyle. So this one has this uh, bun at the top of her head. Uh, I don't know if you remember my previous uh, dolls. I have, I can show you later maybe. 
the other doll I have wearing this Yukata thing. So she has blue eyes and she has that uh, hair framing her face, very very low, you cannot see her eyebrows, she has like tiny eyebrows here. And the hair are framing her face and she has a bun here. And then she is wearing this uh, kimono thing, which is, if you have seen my uh, wedding picture video, uh, like it doesn't have as many layers as I was wearing, it's only, it's easier to put on because it's only one layer and you basically have three colors. So the color are actually attached to the uh, kimono and they are just, uh, you just put them n neatly to have like to be able to see all three of them and then you can have your doll. And normally when you wear the kimono you're supposed to have like the color way at the back but they don't do that on dolls because probably it's a little bit complicated. So this is like a very nice fabric, it's very soft and it's absolutely gorgeous, like it has all the sakura design so she's really ready to go out and check out the sakura trees which are blooming at the moment uh, maybe not when you see the video but they were blooming when I actually took the video so uh, and of course so it's like one piece clothing and she is wearing the hobby on top so the hobby is decorated with this silver glittery bell and you have the knot here and at the back she has this uh, absolutely fantastic bow it's really pretty she is really really pretty I'm very happy with this doll and she is pretty hard to find because she's not only uh, limited like Happy New Year are all limited but she's the coordinate of them which is even more limited because they are as on store limited dolls and only come out as a direct label store so pretty hard to find and I got really lucky to find her on the auction. Here we go. So let me go grab the others uh, with a bun so you're gonna be able to see my other kimono dolls. So here is the Alisa of 2016. Happy New Year 2016 and you can see she's wearing the uh, red yukata and she has also like small socks and shoes and the shoes don't stay too much too well in her feet so this is a version of 2016 so she also has this same hairstyle but she's an Alisa not a Sarah and then uh, in 2017 so this year in January I went to get the a uh, Yuzuha with also the same hairstyle. The Yuzuha has like darker black hair and she is also wearing the med apron on top of her yukata so she is like a little bit more versatile and a little bit more elaborated than the two others. She also has like some accessory for her hair which is pretty cool. So yeah, so here are the three girls except my camera doesn't want to zoom on them, so let me uh, adjust a little bit. So here you go, all three of them. And basically they come out as a couple, so this one has the same uh, with a different hairstyle, this one also has the same doll with a different hairstyle, and this one of course there is four of her, uh, three with this hairstyle with different outfits, and one uh, with also a different outfit but with long hair. So, uh, I guess that's it for uh, the little history of Happy New Year doll and the coordinate that goes with. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I'm very happy with this doll, as you can see. She's absolutely gorgeous and she has probably one of the best yukata. I kind of like the other one, uh, especially the pink one because it's all flowery. And the other one with the strawberry is very special because strawberry, but this one is very sakura and because it's spring and you can see the sakura outside, it's nice to have this doll. So I'm probably going to put on her shoes and if I can, I will have outdoor picture of her. Probably not today because it's getting a little bit late, but um, I will try to have like picture of her from outdoor. Anyway guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up and check out my other video and have fun whatever you do. 
see you next time for something else. Bye!